For the first time in British history, no great office of state will be held by a white man. Liz Truss's new Conservative government contains no white man in a prominent cabinet position. Ha! Take that, leftists! Who are the real racists now? Following on from the Times, The Telegraph became the latest newspaper to commend this as a boon for diversity. Diversity that's not quite diverse enough to include white men. In Britain, where the population is 87% white. Yeah, not that kind of diversity. Liz Truss forms most diverse cabinet in history with no white males in top jobs. She appointed her key ally, Kwasi Kwarteng, who has gone A in heritage, to the Treasury. James Cleverley, whose mother is from Sierra Leone, was made Foreign Secretary. And Suella Braverman, whose parents are of Indian origin, became Home Secretary. Meanwhile, this is the woman who has been picked to become Health Secretary. Hmm. Now, I'm not trying to be mean. Everyone at some point in their life has struggled with weight gain. But not everyone gets to become the health secretary. It seems to be a common theme. Belgium previously appointed a 20-stone woman as health minister. Maybe the next Chancellor of the Exchequer will be someone with a history of bankrupted businesses and petty theft convictions. Or maybe not. To her credit, Therese Coffey, who is Catholic and anti-abortion, good for her, addressed her critics. She acknowledged that she's not a role model for health, but will do her best in the job anyway. I mean, good luck to her. She can't be any worse than arch lockdown zealot Matt Hancock, can she? But will Liz Truss be any better than Boris Johnson? The early signs aren't great. The first thing she did upon becoming Prime Minister was to pledge a loyalty oath to the current thing. Prolonging a war 1,500 miles away. And how did Liz Truss address the very real crisis of record numbers of boat migrants arriving in England on a daily basis? A massive security threat, a huge drain on economic resources, a total insult to the very notion of borders and nationhood. Well, she didn't even mention it. No, not a single word. <laughs> Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.